everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Amy. And I'm Sarah. And today we're gonna to be discussing Hello Stranger by Katherine Sender. The first few minutes, we're gonna do a brief review of the story without any spoilers. Then we are going to shift into a deeper book discussion, which is gonna include lots of spoilers, but don't worry, we are going to let you know before we do shift into that deeper book discussion. That's right. So before we jump into that, Amy, you have a brief description of what Hello Stranger is all about. So go ahead and give that to us now. When a woman has a medical emergency, forcing her to have immediate brain surgery, she wakes up and realizes that she has a condition called acquired face blindness. She can't identify faces anymore, which is a problem because she's a portrait artist, which requires her to paint faces. This is her journey of self-discovery through her new challenge and the people in her life her, who help her through it. Sarah, what did you think about Hello Stranger? Okay, this story was incredibly intriguing for me because one, I have never read a book with this topic. And two, I have never heard of this topic. Me so this, this story was like a deep, dive delight for me. <laughs> I was Googling, I was researching, I just needed to know everything about this. Um, I also love a story that has an artist. You know me, I come from a family of artists, so anytime a character, that's their occupation or their passion, I really love to read that. Um, that just brings me a lot of joy, and I really liked the little... A romance story that kind of unfolds in this. It's not like our typical romance. It's definitely a unique take on it. Yeah, sure. it's a unique take. So it's not uh, what we typically are used to. And I really found that, I found that really refreshing. I did too. I really enjoyed Catherine's writing. This is the second book that I've read of her and I love the first one as well. She kind of uses a lot of wit in her stories. Mm -hmm. They're very entertaining. This is a really great rom-com. I also liked the fact that I had never heard of this topic. I enjoyed learning about it. Mm -hmm. Googling it, doing my yeah. deep dives that we do. It's a solid story. I really liked this one. I agree. All right, let's get into our ratings, angst. Okay, angst. I I feel like this is high, but given the topic that it addresses, I rated it a 2.5. Okay. I did not feel angst reading this. Like, I had moments where I was like, ooh. But it's more of that, if this was a real-life situation happening to somebody, which you know, very well could because it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. um, I would imagine the angst would be up because that would be very unnerving. So I, I mean, 2.5 for me. What did you rate? I only gave it a one. I felt like this story was pretty chill for me. Yeah. And as the author does explain in her author's note, I'm not sure if you read that. Mm -hmm. I always like to read those. It's a romance story with great anticipation. And right. I completely yeah. agree with that. Yeah. So let me be clear. The story is not angsty. The topic yes, would cause true. angst, like real life angst. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Like the story's not, but the that's topic a good is. Point. There we go. <laughs> okay, humor. Okay, uh, humor. This was a three point two five for me. She's witty. She. There was a scene right out the gate that I laughed out loud. <laughs> if you can make me laugh, ah, uh, I love it. It makes me happy, and then it continued on throughout the whole thing. I did two out of five. The female main character is very witty. She witty. She has lots of mm -hmm. fun inner dialogue that just really had me chuckling throughout. It wasn't like I was in stitches the whole time, right. but definitely a lot of like humor mm -hmm. sprinkled throughout. So I, I feel like it gave it a lighter tone through most, most it did. of the story. Yeah. All right. Spiciness. Spicy. Okay. <laughs> what did, did you give it anything? <laughs> I did not. Okay. I gave it a zero. Okay. And here's why. There are no intimate scenes whatsoever. You don't read about one. You, it doesn't allude to one. There isn't um, where it kind of is leading to, but nothing happens between these characters on page. You do not read any intimate scenes whatsoever. So I could have, I kind of, here's how I, I typed it up. <laughs> I put zero to like like hyphen 0.25 so you could fall somewhere in there because there's like there's, there's romance there's romance there's sweet moments I don't want to say tension there is one scene there is like slight tension mm -hmm. but there's no spice this is a clean yeah book. I, I did 0.5 that's high I realized that because mm -hmm. they're like Sarah said there are zero spice scenes in this uh it was um a, a, like even banter is a strong word. I wouldn't even say there was a ton of like No, there's just banter. There's one scene in particular that I'm thinking of mm -hmm. that could have escalated to an intimate scene and it did not. Correct. And that's all I can say. I would say my point five is more because it gave me warm fuzzies. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> all right, tears. Okay. I did not cry during this. I gave it a one. Me too. Okay. I, I think which the character endures is sad, mm -hmm. and if it was a real-life situation, obviously tears go up, but I did not cry during this story. I just felt sad 
for the characters and some of the situations and how they have to navigate that. And that was same. It. Yeah, I, there were times where I, the topics were a little bit heavier for yes. me, but overall it was yeah. um, not a sad story by any means. All right, overall. Okay, overall this is a four for me. Okay. I really enjoyed this story. It was enlightening. I learned so much. I learned about something I've never heard of. I learned from just the different things that the characters deal with and stuff. And any time that a book can kind of, you know, educate you and make you think about things. It was just good. I was on the verge between 4 and 4.25. I mm -hmm. did ultimately bump it up to 4.25 because this is such a unique story mm -hmm. and something that I literally had never heard of before I read this story. And I really enjoyed that aspect of learning more about this mm -hmm. condition. Um, so that's what caused me to bump it up a little bit more. I enjoyed this story a lot. I, I definitely would recommend it. Yeah, I would too. It's really good. All right, that concludes our spoiler-free quick review of this story. Now we're going to shift into the deeper book discussion portion. If you would like to continue on with this journey with us, you can simply click the link below or you can find us on any available podcast platform simply by searching Post Book Depression. We would love to hear your thoughts on this story once you've had a chance to read and listen. You can connect with us on social media on Instagram at Post Book Depression Podcast. On Facebook in our Post Book Depression discussion group, you can also email us at Post Book Depression Podcast at gmail.com.